Hello everybody. Uh, so I thought I'd give you an update on the open house that happened yesterday morning. So I spent all day Friday just getting everything completely clear. So I redusted everything around the house, in the bedrooms, downstairs, cleaned the bathrooms again. Uh, I put things in the wardrobe that I didn't want lying around so like my washing up baskets uh, all my toiletries out the bathroom I threw into a bucket hid in the wardrobe cleared all the sides of plugs hair dryers makeup all the stuff that I'm using every day who would everything again like I said just kept dusting and I just made sure everything was clear completely cleared all of my office stuff off the desk and hid that in the cupboard so come Saturday and I got up early on Saturday I got up at six I had to go to work at eight but I got up early just went round it all again with a hoover made sure that it was all clean and spotless so, you know bathrooms are still clean so I was quite happy by the time I left for work you know it was all spick and spam and you know it's actually echoing because there's it feels like there's nothing left in this house and anyway I went to work left the lights on and everything because can't trust the agents to even do that um so she ha ended up having three people booked in to come to the open house uh, um, someone at 11 who was ha had a house had offers on it and the the potential buyers were being qualified so you know she could potentially be ready to proceed um then and a person who was looking for an investment property that he could rent out and then another person who had just sold their house and they came out at 11 11 13 11 45 i think it was i mean i wasn't here but i was still at work i i like to keep out the way because I think when you're viewing a house, you, you want to just have a good look round, don't you? You don't need the owners butting in. So I've, I've not actually been here for any of the viewings. And um, now, the agent normally calls me when somebody's interested. I didn't get any phone call today. Um, so let's assume that there wasn't any interest from the three that came. Very disappointing. I want to say thank you for all the comments that um, you've been uh, leaving for me, and I'm really sorry that you know other people are in the same position as me and just struggling to find an estate agent that actually cares enough to, well, just communicate really, and it's you know the courtesy to give you a call to see how it you know how it goes. I tried calling the office, you just get the answer phone, it's, <sighs> anyhow, we are where we are, we gave it a go, and you know, I'm very proud that the house is clean, and um, you know, I think somebody said in my comments, you just need that one buyer, um, and that one buyer hasn't shown up yet, anyhow, no, as you know, uh, they didn't have me on a right move bracket, and so they changed that and I asked as well a couple of days ago I said um no, Friday morning sorry yeah so Friday morning I, I messaged and said can you send me the updated report so that I can see if it's made any difference so the original report they sent me clearly said at the top right, the uh, click-through rate is 0.02 percent you know this was a right move report they send me a report that looks nothing like it. It's just got these graphs on it, like this. And I said, can you send me the same report that you sent me before? I'm looking for the click-through rate. And the answer I get back is, oh, the click-through rate's gone up by 48%. Well, it hadn't. So this graph is like, it's going like this, but the difference from when they changed it to guide price of, 25 it's up by like six points on this so that's not 48 percent 
she's like taking the number on the graph as 48, as 48%. <clears throat> when she called me, I said, can you just send me the report? Oh, that is the report. I mean, do they think I'm stupid? And of course, we can't get these reports off Rightmove. Only estate agents can get them. Oh, God, oh, me strength. Anyhow, hopefully she'll call me on Monday and give me some feedback. Otherwise, I'll be calling and calling and calling until I get some. Um, and we'll see what they say. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to... The problem is, next week, I'm working all week um, physically at the gym. But I'm going to try and find some time to at least start going around and chatting with other estate agents. Just I, I want to find one that I can connect with and who I feel confident with that's going to communicate with me. And if I walk into that office and they start giving me that sales spiel, which just does my head in, it really does, I'm just going to walk out. Um, I know they have, they are salesmen and I know they do that. But I just want someone that's going to talk straight to me and um, it can't be that difficult. Anyway, upwards and upwards. This weekend, I'm, I've, well, I've had to pay for all the balances during my Australia trips. I'm absolutely broke now. <laughs> this is probably, well, this is definitely going to be the last massive expensive holiday I ever have. And probably one of the most expensive I've ever had. Um, but it is a dream. And sometimes... You have to just do what you really need to do before it's too late. Anyway, I shall keep you all updated. And again, thank you all for your support. I know I look very tired. It's been a tiring couple of days. I've never cleaned so much in my life. Uh, but, uh, but onwards and upwards. I will speak to you all soon. Thank you for watching.